Hey guys, it's your inner chakras. Welcome back to my channel, guys. Thank you for all your likes, your comments, your subscribes. Guys, thank you for everything. Right now, this is the Divine Masculine's energy, but this is going to be for the collective of masculines and the collective of Divine Feminines that are in union, that are talking, that are spending time with one another, whether it's here or there, whatever. Um, but you're taking those steps to be together, okay? So these are the ones that are in union. Like, you email every day, you text every day. Like, you have a rapport that's going on right now, okay? So this is your reading. So basically, because you are coming into union, like, you haven't solidified it yet, but you're coming into union, we're going to ask the masculine, what is the masculine telling his friends about you right now? Okay? All right, guys. So these are for the masculines that are on their way, like out the door. They don't live with the divine, they don't live with the karmic. Maybe they never did, but they're not in a relationship. They got their keys back, like whatever. They dropped their clothes back to all that each other's homes, like that masculine. What is he telling his boys about you, okay? Not just any boys. These are like his best friends. These are like his ride or dies. These are the ones that know everything about your ass, all right? These are the ones, back in the day, they probably told each other, my thing is bigger than yours, you know, when they was teenagers. Who the hell knows? All right, guys, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what is your divine masculine telling his boys about his divine feminine? The one that he loves. What is he telling his boys? I'll be damn. Two of cups. He's telling his boys. He goes, I want her. He goes, I want her. He goes, I miss her. He goes, I miss her. Yep. I'm going to do anything to get to her. Seven of swords. He goes, I will do anything to get to her. He said, that's my baby. That's my two of cups. Yeah. He feels like he walked away from you before, though. He said, he said you his love, but he walked away from you. He said he stabbed you in the back at one point, you know. That's what he's telling his boys. He said he stabbed you in the back at one point. Turned his back on you. Wow. Mm-hmm. And he said when he did that, he was in his karmic energy. He said he wasn't in his right mind. You know, when he did that, he felt bad about it. Mm -hmm. He think it was magic done um, that caused him to do that because he's telling his friends he got justice. You know, some type of justice was served in it. What else? Yeah, he found out that some magic was done. Here we go. So this masculine is telling his friends that you his baby. He loves you. And... He had to walk away from you at one point. He stabbed you in your back, but he couldn't figure out why. But later on down the line, he figured out why. There was magic being done, some control being done, some type of magic. But he found out about it. And when he found out about it, he served justice to someone else, and he, he, he walked away. He walked away from it, right? Dad, you in your back. What else going on? Mm hmm But then he said he woke up. Something woke your masculine up, right? Let's see what woke him up. I guess he started thinking about you, yeah. He was all on his mind. And he's, he's telling his friends that he can't stop thinking about you. Let's see what else. What else he telling his boys? Yeah, he said he can't stop thinking about you. He can't stop watching you. He goes, man, he goes, I search her ass every day on social media. Every day. He wants to celebrate with you. Like, he sees better days with you. He wants to celebrate with you is what he tells his friends. Mm -hmm. He know he broke your heart, though. He knows you're healing. He can, he can see that you've healed because he watches you on social media. He said, you're doing your thing. You're doing your thing. He can see that. 
You can see that he didn't stop you and that you in your glory. He said, that's my baby. That's who he loves. He said, you're a nurturing person. He said, you're very loving. He said, everybody loves you. What else is he telling his boys? Mm-hmm. He said, you offered your, your ace of cups to him, and he didn't take it. He didn't take it then. Yep, he didn't take it then. Because he said he was all up in his head. He was bored with that offer then. He didn't want it. He said he didn't want what he was offering then. Mm -hmm. Yep, see, he had rejected your offer then, he told his friends. But see, now he can't, he can't get you off his mind. And he wants us to a cups with you. But he's still taking it easy. He's still taking it easy. His, his approach is slow. Because now he wants to make sure you don't pull out on him. He wants to print, plant roots with you, but his approach is slow, guys. He's just taking it slow, taking it easy. Mm -hmm. A tower fell around your masculine. He was in a tower of some kind. He's telling his friends he's been through some shit. He's been through some shit with a karmic queen of pentacles in reverse. He said he's glad that tower is falling, coming down. He said it was too much. It was draining. He said he had to heal his heart from that bullshit. And that's why he couldn't take your cup of love when you offered it. Because he was still caught up in some other mess. Now that he's free and he's healed, now he wants to come forward. He's telling his friends now, you know, he has the opportunity to offer you this love. He wants to be lovers with you. It's like the door is open. Doors open. You got the karma. The karma. I mean, the will of fortune. You know. And he just don't know what to do with it. He doesn't know how to approach you. But he wants this new beginning with you. He's just trying to be creative. He's trying to ask his friend, "Yo, can y'all give me some ideas? Like, how do I reapproach this? Like, how do I, how do I get my baby back? Basically, you know." He's asking his friends, how do I get my baby back? He's all up in his head about it, too, guys. He don't know what to do. He don't know how to get you back. Because he know what he did to you. He stabbed you in your back. But he, want, he, he goes, I want my baby back. Like, y'all talking and stuff? But he's coming slowly. Here he is. He's going to take that dive. His friend said, man, just do it. Just do it. Just go for it, man. Just do it. She still loves you. They said, that's your empress. Go get her. That's your empress. Look, guys, that's your new love. Boy said, go get her. They said, go get her. If that's what makes you happy, time is fleeting. If that's what makes you happy, go get her. Right? That's what makes you happy. So your masculine, he's contemplating. His friends just gave him a head for it. Friends said, go get her. Friends said, go get her. The masculine scared. He don't know if you're going to work with him. He don't know if you're going to take him back. Like, he doesn't know if you're going to take him back completely. Yeah. But he's all up in his head about it. His friends are telling him, man, let that go. If you don't go get that woman, man. If you don't go get that emotional fulfillment. Look. <laughs> Not a cup. I can't get it. If you don't go get that emotional fulfillment. If you don't get that Ace of Pentacles. Your gift. You gear from the universe. Show her who you are, man. You the king of pentacles. Like, stop that. She's waiting on you, dude. Look. Queen of swords. She's waiting on you. High priestess. She's waiting on you. Man, go get her. Bring it back to life. This is death and rebirth. Go get her. Go get her. What was that? Look. Knight of swords. Go get her. Running. They said, man, you better go get her. She gonna get away. You better go get her, man. Knight of Cups. The friend said you better go get her. All right, guys, this is your reading. This is what your masculine is telling his boys, that he loves you and he messed up. And he really doesn't know how to get you back. Like, y'all in conversation, y'all talking and stuff, 
But he ha he hasn't really told you that he love you, love you. You know what I mean? But he's filling you out just to see. And his friends are like, man, jump ship. Just do it. You know, just do it. Don't let her get away, man. You better do it. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.